Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. So last week I asked about if you were stranded on a deserted island, who would you bring with you? Uh, but another kind of hypothetical question people like to ask other than would you rather, right, is if you, if your house was burning down, what one thing or what things would you go get? And I think in tough times, this question is a really, it's a really important one to ask. Like it causes us to think through, what is it that I can live without? What is it that I would actually need to bring with me? And sometimes the, the process of running this, this scenario through our heads, it gives us an opportunity to let go of some things that maybe we don't need. Some things that weigh us down. It, gives, it actually can give us clarity on what we actually need to be healthy, to be happy, to be, to be whole. Sometimes all of this stuff actually gets in the way and prevents us from doing that. Anytime there's change, anytime there's disruption, pain, uh, in tough times, there is opportunity to grow. There is opportunity for reflection. There's opportunity for clarity. In the Bible, in 2 Corinthians 4, 15 through 18, it says, and this is kind of in regards to like really difficult times. So we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us. On the inside, where God is creating new life, right? When we pause and stop and think like, what do I really need? There's something going on inside of us. God is trying to restore. God is making new life. Not a day goes by without his unfolding grace. These hard times are nothing compared to the coming good times. People who are, who are Christ followers, people with, with faith, have a hope in something bigger, something more, something forward, something in the future. The uh, verses go on to say, that there is a lavish celebration prepared for us. There's far more here than meets the eye. The things we see now are just here today, but they will be gone tomorrow. We don't need all of it. The things we can't see now will last forever. And so in tough times, we've talked about finding God, finding friends, and now we're going to talk about finding forward. So the Bible usually uses analogies of, of agriculture, like growing things, tending to your fields, watering your fields. And often it uses analogies within that of tilling, like tearing up the soil uh, or, or trimming the vine so that the healthy can stay strong. Oftentimes in, in forests, there's controlled burns that will help prevent big, huge burns in the future. And it also restores new life within that. Sometimes we need these disruptions. Sometimes we need these breaks from the normal to force us to think differently, to force us to, to see everything around us and find what really is important. See, if it is true that everything around us is burning down, if we focus on everything inside of what's burning down, unfortunately, sometimes we might get stuck in the middle of that. But if we could find forward, if we could say, no, none of this stuff is anything I need. If we could get more comfortable giving up our, our current position of power, our current privilege, our current income, our current possessions, what could we do moving forward? All of that stuff can be taken away, but the future, the, what's promised to us, as 2 Corinthians says, is something that somebody cannot take away from us. Nothing can take away from us. No tough times, no hard times can take that from us. See, the experts say that when we're in a boat, and let's say we're in the middle of a storm on a boat, that's enough to usually cause seasickness. The worst thing you can do is put your head down, go below deck, or focus on the rocking of the boat. The best thing you can do is look up and find the horizon, look ahead. 
So in tough times, no matter what you're going through, look ahead. Look at what you can do out of this. Look at what you're learning through it. Look at all the things you could leave behind because there are certain things that cannot be taken away from you. And the promises of God are the biggest, most significant piece of that. This week in your faith, reflect on what is forward. What could you bring into a bright new future? Thanks for watching Faith in 5. If you like what you see, please like and share. If you're interested in making a donation to our ministry, please click the link below.